About eight minutes into Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 from Portland, Oregon to Ontario, California, sheer panic as a piece of the plane went missing. The Friday night sky suddenly widely visible from inside the plane as the crew scrambled to keep passengers alive. Just to press air, so we declared an emergency. We needed to send down to 10,000. A cabin panel blew clear off this Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft. Loaded with 177 passengers and crew, the scene on board remaining eerily quiet. A lot of people around me were a lot calmer than I would have thought for a situation like this. An emergency landing back to Portland. Passengers applauding the crew's actions, relieved to be alive. This wasn't given when the that refrigerator size hole in the plane appearing to be an emergency exit is actually called a plug door. To passengers, it would look like any other window seat. There was thankfully no one seated near the window. Luckily, according to passengers, no one was seated in that spot. There was a mom and a son sitting in that aisle, and the son's shirt was like completely blown off, and his body was extremely red. I'm assuming due to my like, irritation of the wind. Reaction to the incident coming swiftly with the NTSB investigating. The FAA is requiring immediate inspections of certain Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes before they can return to flight. Alaska Airlines immediately grounded its 737 MAX 9s for inspection. The airline says it has already checked a quarter of its fleet with no concerning findings and that aircraft will return to service as their inspections are completed with our full confidence. Boeing today saying safety is our top priority and we deeply regret the impact this event has had on our customers and their passengers. The airplane manufacturer saying it will support the NTSB's investigation. A nighttime flight leaving passengers stunned by this scare in the air. So grateful we weren't higher in the air, like um, that more things didn't fly out, that no one flew out. I think that's incredible that we're all safe. And Dana joins us now from LAX. Dana, what kind of impact is this having on flights today? Yeah, Peter, according to data from FlightAware, Alaska has had to cancel more than 140 flights. Now, we can't know for sure if that's because of those grounded planes, but it is far more than any other U.S. airline, even United, which had the ground part of its fleet, so far experiencing 70 cancellations. Peter? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.